Hello and welcome to my channel. The beginning of our walks. We're taking my my dog, my pup, and my girlfriend for a walk with us. See how they cope. And I'll see you when we get to Eastville. Welcome to Eastvale Park. 15 minutes after we left. Not too far. You can see uh, Julia and Tiber in the distance. And it's a nice day to be going on a walk. I don't know if you've seen that on the screen, but two rats just ran past. Nice. So this park has been here for um, a long time. Um, I have pictures on my phone that I'll upload, you'll see here. From the early 1900s, 1920. I haven't seen a little boat here before. I don't know what that's for. Well, I do know what it's for, but I've seen one here before. You're too close. Quite scary. They're massive. Hello? Alright. Look who I found. Oh, she's running. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited, Kaiba? Alright. Going to the next bit of this park. Next to the river left. This is gonna take us to the next part of the walk as well. Snuff meals. It's a really nice walk here. When you have an obedient dog. I'm trying to get a squirrel. Let's go see. <laughs> but she's running after it. I know, I'm trying to get her. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? You see a friend? It's up there. What are you doing? You seen the wall? This used to be a mill. It used to be three stories high. Snuff mills. The next part of our walk. This walk feels like Lord of the Rings. Best film ever. Okay. It's amazing. 
and very muddy. Should we come off the path a bit? Let's go off the path. Just gonna be thinking where are we? Gotta be careful because it is slippy. And I don't want to get dirty. Not really. Uh. I love these kind of walks. Hopefully I can do some more. It's hard to travel at the moment with the current situation, obviously, but when we get the chance, we will. Hopefully as well, I haven't been talking too quiet in these videos. I would go up there, but she doesn't know I left. That. How cool is that? Ah. Okay, let's keep walking. Obviously, this is a new channel, so I'm looking for loads of places to walk to. To visit to explore so if you know anywhere let me know i actually live in bristol so there's a few places around me oh gosh she doesn't know where i am and to be honest i've never actually followed this part of the path before so I have no idea where we are either. Getting a bit hungry, I should have had breakfast. Look at this. It's very wet. see it huh oh well don't know if you can see it probably not is that the same size as the dog <laughs> my goodness <laughs> you realize this is going on youtube yeah no i'm not i'm not going to take it out <laughs> it's like it's like in lord of the rings when they have to hide from the the crows Wow. Yeah, definitely looking for more tips on where to visit, where to go. Look down here. That's the normal path I walk down, actually. And this, I have no clue. But let's keep going, see what happens. A little bit more of a path. I feel this brings us up to our point where we were going to take a break. What do we order today? We deserve it today. I know where we are. You're coming with me. Let's go. Alright. You don't run from me. Oh, oh. Here we are. Here. So we've just had our lunch, 
we've had like two breakfast bars each, which is lunch. And now we're heading back to number three in the parks we visit today. I actually haven't been to this next park. She thinks she's in Lord of the Rings. She's a hobbit. How do you know it's that way? I don't know it's that way. Look at that view. It's so cool. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> do you want to take someone's living here? I'm pretty sure I watched someone build something like this on a desert island. Do you want to take the safe route or the unsafe route? Let's go this way. Unsafe. It should be alright if we walk slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite steep. Nope. I got a camera. <laughs> I hold it. Give me the dog. Come on, doggy. No, my phone. This may be the only bit of accent in the video. Discomfort. <laughs> Normally we'll let her off the lead but she's been going a bit crazy today, running away and not coming back. She's quite obedient normally but today definitely not the way she's going. I am crossing here. Yeah. She's got it. I know that's oh, oh. this way. So, this park that we're heading to now, I have actually never been to. It's called Stoke Park, it's Stoke Park Estate. I think that's what it's called and I'll tell you more when we actually see the park I'm guessing this is the pathway to it this is a place I literally passed so much when going up the M32 and I've never known how to get here the yellow castle the yellow castle look at it, it's massive So this is Stoke Park, right next to the motorway. It's probably a bit noisy. But look at it. I've never actually come here. I don't even know if you're allowed to go up there. But we'll try. We're actually going to walk up here, take a look at the house, and then just take a random walk down that way and see what we find. Like I said, I've never been here before. It's all new to me, I'm sure. If people see this from Bristol, they'll know a bit more than me, or have been here more than me.
So here we are, third park. A new stop for us actually. It was actually built in the 16th century. So it's very old. This whole estate was owned by someone. I don't actually know their name. <laughs> but I do know that this more in recent times, after being a mansion, was turned into a mental hospital. You can actually, that's, oh gosh, that scared me, that actually scared me. There was a, there's a person cleaning the window on the second floor. So they say, apparently, someone, let me, uh, let me see if I can Google who. <laughs> um, the property is known as the Dower House. And is haunted by the ghost of a 17 year old called Elizabeth who um, fell off her horse in the 1760s and broke her neck. How crazy is that? There's been uh, reports that people can hear galloping, random galloping noises around the estate. Maybe we'll see or hear something ourselves. Maybe not, probably not. <laughs> I'm happy enough just to see this uh, this park finally, this house. We are now going to be leaving Stoke Park and the next time you'll hear from me is when we will be on top of that hill where that little pointy thing is. A 10 minute walk later, I am where I said I would be, right next to this pointy thing just over there over the trees this is a nice place next time we come here we'll probably go down that way because it seems to be more wooded area and we'll check out i didn't realize there's like a monument or something over there but yeah look at this crazy love it okay let's continue i am now going well i'm still going somewhere i've never been before and trying to make it back home so let's see what happens let's see what we see along the way i think julia's tired now <laughs> we are now on top of there's the yellow castle in the distance i don't know if you can see it i don't think i can zoom in at the same time as Whatever. Yeah, so what a view this is. So the green over there in the far distance. I'm gonna start this video again and try zoom in. To zoom in is not uh, the greatest um, quality, so <laughs> we'll leave that. But yeah, you can kind of see what I'm getting at. Um, so the greenery over there, just behind the big red looking building. I don't know, I'll probably be able to see it when I'm editing this. But that's Eastville Park where we, the first park we started, that's the big motorway. Then all those buildings in the background, that's like where we work. That's the town centre, Eastern, Barton Hill, you can see everything. Those, that wooded area over there, I'm pretty sure that's Snuff Mills. I might be wrong. Or down there maybe. No, I'm pretty sure that's Snuff Mills over there. And the other castle. And then this little pointy thing here, I remember seeing it again as a kid, not realizing what it is, and now I realize what it is. So cool. I'm very happy with this walk.
just arrived home after um, the four hour walk we just did and feeling good first walk we've done for the channel um, new channel so if you know other places to visit um, especially along in Bristol please leave a comment down there and hopefully I can do this again hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully I learn and I can create a bit more interesting content um, first first video I've ever created on YouTube so yeah oh and subscribe and like obviously that is very important thank you